So, yung credit card, isa siyang uh, gamit no sa pagtanda natin. Uh, adult people usually have credit card. Pero, mm-hmm. it can be an asset and at the same time, pwede rin siyang maging liability. So, sim- So, hello everyone! Hello! Hi. So, kamusta kayo? So, welcome to another episode here at Wealth RD. So, kasama ko ulit yung bagong junior financial planner namin, si Marion. So, hi Marion! Kamusta? Hello everyone! Hello Adriel! Kamusta kayo? Ito, mabuti naman. May yeah. bago na naman tayong topic ngayon. Oh, so I'm also doing well. So, for this week guys, we'll be discussing credit card basics. And of course, how do you make your credit card work for you? Um, so previously we discussed yung mga credit card security tips and of course yung ano mga tips then on how to use your credit card pero wala pa tayong video no on the credit card basics and how do you use your credit card effectively so ngayon we discuss natin yan but before we delve into the topic so so yung mga bagong viewers natin please hit that subscribe button and of course hit uh, that like button then no so that ano Uh, this video would be uh, seen by a lot of people and of course uh, you get notified then if there are new videos and of course mahalaga yung live stream na every thursday Yun. sige uh, marian ano ba yung mga credit card basics no and for people like me na wala pang credit card and for those na wala pang credit card so how do you get to one and ano ba yung advantages and disadvantages nito Oh, so yung credit card isa siyang uh, gamit no sa pagtanda natin uh, adult people usually have credit card pero mm-hmm. it can be an asset and at the same time pwede rin siyang maging liability. So simulan muna natin mm-hmm. siya para ma-appreciate ng someone na hindi pa nagkakaroon ng credit card kung ano ba yung usage ng isang credit card. So hindi siya card na nagbibigay sa akin ng credits no. Hindi naman. Okay. Hindi naman, hindi naman. Binibig- paraan ito para makabili ka ng certain things, okay. pero meron kang responsibilities in the future. Hindi ito free money. Okay, okay. Sige. Kala ko free money. Credit. Sige, bro. Oo. So, what is a credit card? It is uh, issued by a bank to someone that is, that is that has passed yung qualifications for someone to get a credit card. Ayan. So once na meron tayong credit card, sabi nga, no, meron tayong video, Adriel, no, from Weld Archie, yung ang credit card is a means of deferred payment. Yes. Yes. So, ano, ano ba yung deferred payment? Natin. Bale, you use your credit card as a means of payment kung wala kang cash. But eventually, you have to pay it in the future with interest. So yun yung deferred payment. Clear ba? Mm-hmm. Oh, clear naman. You, you you will pay whatever the amount you used sa credit card mo. And then, of course, pwede kang ma-charge ng interest lalo na kapag hindi ka nagbayad on time. Malalaman natin yun maya mm-hmm. sa succeeding slides natin. Ang question ko is, yeah, ito, why get a credit card? And anong difference niya with a debit card? Diba? Ah, so, maganda. Be, um, ako, I just use my debit card to pay online tapos wala nang interest but yun nga why get a credit card oh alam ko ang kwento diyan Adriel no yung minsan pag kumakain ako or sa grocery no nung bago-bago ako tinatanong ako nung ano nung kahera sir credit o debit sabi ko di ko alam <laughs> hindi ko alam yun pala okay debit card refers to your savings account yung kung may ATM ka based sa payroll mo kung ang payroll mo ay binibigay through ATM, that card is your debit card. It is similar. They say that a debit card is as good as cash. So instead of holding cash, ipaswipe mo na lang using your debit card. Now, yung credit card naman, it's a, it's a, it is a means of deferred payment. Bibigyan ka muna ng pera ng bank within your credit limit for you to use it. But, may obligation ka na bayanan siya yon in the future. Ang mabigat dito is, there has to be a lot of psychology and self-control involved pagdating sa credit card. 
Kasi ang debit card, pag naubos na yung pera mo dyan, wala mm-hmm. na eh. Ang credit card, as yeah. long as parang malaki pa yung credit, ano mo, yung yung allowable spending mo, baka yung mapaswipe ka ng mapaswipe. Yes, credit limit. Oo. But I think the reason why people get a credit card, dahil itong third point mo, yung builds credit history. Because usually, hinahanap ito ng mga ano, sa banko kapag maglo-loan ka. So, it's a way for the bank to know if okay ba yung credit history mo, are you paying your debts on time? Because technically, yung credit card, no, yung deferred payment, credit card debt yan. Eh. So, if you pay it on time, it builds good credit history. Hindi siya masyado for emergency and convenience. Uh, because you, you you have cash, you have your debit cards. Um, you, maybe itong emergency case-to-case basis. Maybe you can use your credit card as a means kapag, alam mo yun, mga last-minute expenses or mga sudden expenses na hindi mo akalain. But again, always have your emergency card for that. And of course, yung convenience because we're going cashless. Na no. Um, and of course, with regards to being cashless, a, cre- a credit card would be useful for that. And I guess for the viewers, no, lalo na in, ter- in of course, during this time of pandemic, uh, useful siya. But again, I think we can explain further in oh. yeah, your advantages and disadvantages. Oh, and just to highlight, no, kanina sa start ng ating video, you gave an example, no, paano kapag newbie, no, um, starting mm-hmm. from work, fresh graduate, why get a credit card? Tama, Adriel, yung third point natin, build a credit history. Kasi hindi naman lahat ng bagay, bahay, kotse, ma-achieve natin yun sa isang payroll lang or sa loob ng isang taon lang. Right? Mm-hmm. So if we want to buy a certain appliance, for example, kailangan natin sa bahay natin ng ref, pero hindi pa tayo sumisweldo, we might want to have or to acquire a credit card. Plus, pag mangungutang na tayo ng mas malaking halaga, banks will check yung ating credit history. Are we a good payer ng ating uh, credit card bills or are we not? Diba? Mm-hmm. Tinitingnan din yun ng mga banko. Ito. How do you get a credit card? Pwede pa explain? Sobrang dami kasi ito. Different pa yung private yung, yung private, yung private employee at yung self-employed. So bakit iniba nila? Ah, okay. So, simulan natin sa mga private or government employees. So, so, ito yung ating mga nagtatrabaho sa opisina. Ito lang yung mga requirements niya. A bank will require for you to fill out an application form to give a valid ID, yung Form 2316 ninyo, and the payslip for the past three months. Mapapansin nyo, no? Meron tayong apat na requirements, but I just want to highlight number three and number four. 2316 is your income tax return. Ibig sabihin, yeah. sa loob ng isang taon, magkano ang kinikita mo? Mm. Pangalawa is yung payslip. Siyempre, payslip from your employer is your proof na ito yung amount na talagang sinesweldo natin for a particular month. Uh, alam mo naman siguro, banks as a financial institutions, they also have to be very careful sa pagpapautang ng pera sa ibang tao. Di ba? They have to make sure to limit their risk of not being paid kung sino man yung kukuha ng credit card nila. Okay. Uh, but for self-employed, no? I just noticed photocopy of TTI and SEC registration. So for self-employees, hindi ba pwede COR as a ano, substitute? Lalo na yung freelancers. Ano ba yung regulations ng bank? Upon okay. yung research mo? Well, this one kasi is uh, sa mga self-employed, uh, COR will do, but then again, for companies ko na, eh, nagtayo ka ng sari-sari store, ng bake mm-hmm. shop. I'm referring to a physical business. Ah. Yung mm-hmm. freelancers, yes, we also have human capital. You base your business based on your skill. Uh, there, there are requirements for that. But this one refers to if you have a physical structure dun sa business mo. Sari-sari store, nagtayo ka ng bakery, nagtayo ka ng corporation. The bank mm-hmm. also has to check yung legit how legitimate yung business natin na yun natin? Um, I guess check with the bank kung ano yung regulations because self-employed can also mean yung mga insurance agents natin or investment agents natin in different investment firms. So I guess you can check out in your bank, either BPI, BDO, East West, etc. To know kung ano yung details regarding 
uh, kung photocopy of CO, COR or kailangan ba ng, alam mo yun, copy ng contract nyo with the with your partner company. So, mm. uh, clarify na lang with that. Huh? No? So, these are oh. just general tips siguro. Yes. Oh, and by the way, no, yung pagkuha ng credit card, uh, well, generally, they have to visit their banks. Pero, mm-hmm. kapag meron ka ng credit history, dito na pumapasok minsan yung may tumatawag sa phone, yung mm-hmm. aalokin ka ng credit card, perhaps mm-hmm. kasi meron ka ng existing bank account at malaki na yung mm-hmm. bank account mo for that particular bank. And because isa rin sa kota ng mga banks is to get people to have credit cards from that particular bank. Kaya minsan nag- ma-marketing din sila, tatawag sila, alokin ka ng credit card. Mm, okay. So, yung audited financial statements, I guess, accounting na yan, right? And then, BAR form, quarterly RTR. So, for self-employees or, of course, self-businesses, important talk because you want, the banks want to know how liquid you are and are they willing to give you that, you know, that credit card? Baka kasi bibigay sila ng credit card, pero baon ka naman sa utang or di ka naman financial stable. So they might not uh, give you that that card or they might withheld, withhold your credit card application. Oo, totoo yan. Kasi madaling magsabi na for a self-employed or for an employee, I'm earning 50,000 pesos a year. Pero yun pala, nagsisinungaling lang ako. So banks also have to check certain documents to prove na ito nga ang kinikita mo per month or per year. Dito, how to, ito na yung part na how do we make our credit card work for you. Nasabi na nga natin kanina, a credit card can be an asset and can be a liability. Meron ka bang narinig na kwento, Adriel, ng mga clients mo na na-challenge sa pagkakaroon ng credit card? Ito na lang tayo. Ang uh, maramit kasi clients na ano, having credit card bill problems. So, so, how do you make your credit card work for you? So, tama nga si Marion, watch your psychology. So, don't be complacent and don't be over-dependent. Yung problem kasi sa atin, no, nagagawang sa secondary bank account yung credit card. But we have to know that every credit card has a certain interest rate. Eh, interest rate? Interest rate. <laughs> interest rate. Um, so, that accumulates fast and that accumulates monthly. So, Tumataas, tumataas yung credit card debt natin habang hindi natin binabayad. So that creates a giant problem and that creates a, alam mo yan, friction between couples and that may cause uh, certain mental breakdowns, lalo na, for, a, for an individual. Oo, and the uh, credit card debt is something that you cannot escape, right? Mm. Uh, yes, akala natin minsan makakalusot tayo, hindi ko na lang tatawagin yung bank, hindi ko na lang siya babayaran. But then again, next time na uutang tayo, banks have this association wherein they will find out na meron kang existing loan. So never ka nang pagbibigyan when you apply for a credit card on another bank. So next, tingnan natin ang... Mga terminologies naman, you t- we, t- we take a look at dun sa psychology and at the same time, we also understand yung mga terms na nakikita natin sa ating credit card billing statement. Simula natin sa payment due date. Ayan. So yung payment due date is ito yung date na kailan mo dapat bayaran yung iyong credit card. You either pay it before or exactly on the date of your payment due. Next, meron tayong tinatawag na minimum amount due. So, makikita natin yan sa ating credit card statement. Ayan, tulad dito, 503.45. And then, meron tayong credit card limit. Ito yung sagad, pinakasagad na pwedeng ibigay sa iyo ng credit card company mo. In this case, sa example natin, 47,000 pesos. So, yung aggregate credit limit dyan, hindi pala siya ibig sabihin na nag-roll over. That's just the total credit limit. Kumbaga. Yes. Oo. So, if I am, I have already used my credit card for 45,000 pesos at bibili ako ng item na 10,000 pesos, hindi na magpo-proceed yung pag-swipe nung aking bibilhin sana na 10,000 pesos kasi kung 45,000 na yung amount due ko, 
2,000 na lang yung available na pwede kong gamitin. And then I already reached yung 47,000 credit card limit ko. Mm, I see. So, no, we know now yung psychology no, at yung term. So, ano ba yung advantages and disadvantages now? Or yung pros and cons? Mm, okay. So, pros and cons. Um, in order to understand yung pros and cons, we all... Allow me first to start with the cons. Kapag hindi natin finalo yung psychology, mm-hmm. hindi natin finalo yung psychology, wala tayong self-discipline on how to really use a credit card, pwede tayong ma-charge ng una, late payment fee. Pangalawa, finance charge. And yung isa, yung rewards, ano na yan? Uh, sab- sabi nga dun sa other videos natin, reward shouldn't be your mm-hmm. motivation to get a credit card. Right. Um, uh, let me first talk about late payment fee. Kanina, nakita natin doon meron tayong minimum amount due na 503 pesos. Now, late payment fee will apply kapag 500 pesos ng binayad mo or you never paid at all. Magkakaroon ka ng tinatawag na late payment fee. Then we also have finance charges. So let's say ang dapat kong bayaran ay 30,000 pesos. Ang nabayaran ko lang 15,000 pesos. Finance charges will apply dun sa balance, yung hindi ko binayaran. Ayun, mm. yun ang okay. yun ang mga pwedeng uh, madagdag Be, sa hindi lang sa principal mo, madadagdagan yung yeah, principal yeah, yeah. mo. Ito na yung magiging interest. So additional pa, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, we go to rewards, dun sa rewards naman. Again, this is not your motivation to get a credit card, but if you pay well, you pay on time, you pay in full, you get to enjoy rewards. Uh, yeah. Um, um, regarding rewards, no. So tama nga, no. We don't get the credit card for the rewards. Uh, that's actually the wrong mindset already when getting the credit card. But the right mindset in getting a credit card is we will use this credit card when we have, let's say, online purchases, and then we are really good with our spending. Because actually, yung rewards are just the bonus. Um, because usually with credit cards, we accumulate points. So if we reach a certain level of points, so we can attain certain level of rewards. And we can also use our points in turn instead of using yun, credit or cash. So parang bonus siya. And it will actually help with you financially. So... Um, isipin nyo na lang yung rewards as your um, goal. Well, hindi naman goal. But let's say the cherry on top or the icing on top. Kung baga, nandyan siya for you to benefit from if you're doing well or if you're using your credit card wisely. Oo. So, tingnan natin yung next. We do a recap na dun sa yeah. paggamit ng ating credit card. Ang benefits mm-hmm. ng credit card is, again, for emergency use, right? It's a yeah. deferred payment. Okay siya, no? Uh, again, mm-hmm. you can use both. Tama si Adriel. You can use your debit card or your mm-hmm. credit card. Uh, next, we ha- also watch yung psychology natin. Ang, ang masasabi mo sa psychology, Adriel? Um, always, ano, uh, get your credit card, not for the rewards, but you're going to use it. No, for you know, deferred payments. But normally with deferred payments, we advise our clients to always pay on time. But treat, us, treat your credit card as an additional way for you to spend cashless. So uh, that's supposed to be the correct mindset. Hindi pwede yung swipe pa lang ng swipe tapos sobra ka na sa credit limit. That would add pressure to your finances and that would, of course, incur credit card debt. Mm-hmm. And also, we all also understand yung credit card terms na meron tayo, yung minimum amount due. Minimum amount due, nandyan yan, pero again, we must pay yung total amount due natin for that particular time before or on the due date para hindi tayo magkaroon ng finance charges or ng late payment charges. Mm-hmm. So I guess, no, with regards to your credit card, um, just make sure that you know the credit card limit and you know, of course, yung terms and conditions of your credit card. 
because per bank has its own terms and conditions. Uh, actually, we have clients na bumibili na maraming credit card, pero di nila alaman yung terms and conditions per card. So when oh. it comes to paying now your credit card juice, so nahirapan sila which ones to pay. So parang nade-delay delay siya up to the point na alam mo yun, sobrang laki na, hindi na ma-manage and it puts pressure on the alam mo yun, relationship sa family. And of course, mm. yung all for personal finance din. So, um, another thing is, wag kayong gamit, wag yung kunin yung credit card for the sake of buying multiple things online. Medyo tempting kasi ngayon dahil sale, maraming oh. sale dahil online. So, wag kayong, wag yung gamitin yung credit card, no? as a means to I mean, spend as much as you want. May downside din yan. No? Mm-hmm. The credit card is makes it easy to buy things online. Pero also, Adriel, no, yung tayo, kapag bumibili tayo ng products online, make sure na galing siya sa isang reputable website. Kasi we're inputting yung credit card data natin, mamaya manakaw at magamit sa iba yung credit card natin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But by the way, Adrian, would you agree na ang isang tao dapat ba magkaroon ng 1, 2, 3, 4 credit cards? Anong masasabi mo? In terms of how many credit cards you need or you need to get, um, it really depends on the person. But usually, 2 to 3 is already enough because, again, each card has its own credit limit. But again, know your finances, know your cash flow. Um, don't get multiple credit cards for hindi mo naman siya kayang bayaran lahat. Um, that would also put pressure more on your cash flow then. So yun mm-hmm. lang regarding how many credit cards you need. Again, it's really dependent on ano yung financial situation ng client. Um, may clients kasi na lima yung credit card pero ano, lima din yung ginagamit niya at all times. Oh so, no! Alam ko, <laughs> alam yun, accumulate lang yung debt across the across all credit cards tapos kailangan natin medyo toxic na so kailangan alamin kung which credit card bill yung pinaka mababa tapos we work on that tapos from smallest to biggest ano so i guess maybe we can have hmm. a different discussion on how to pay off your credit card debt or yung tinatawag natin debt consolidation and payment no in a future video anything words marion any last thoughts and words Mm-hmm. Parting, parting words natin is credit card is something that you can use okay, to buy certain things within the credit limit. And sa mga fresh grads dito, nagsisimula pa lang mag-work, yes, you can get a credit card to build on your credit history. But then again, meron tong responsibility para sa atin to use the credit card within only the credit limit and to buy only the things that we need. Yeah. Yo, yo, I guess na summarize na ni Marion yung kalam kung sabi. <laughs> so, ayon. So, thank you guys for listening. Uh, I hope you learned something new today about credit card. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give this a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, it, please subscribe. You no, know, there's a button below to subscribe. And of course, uh, Marion, see you in the next video. And guys. See you next week. Bye-bye. See you. Ingat. Bye-bye.